Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited for this video because as you can see, we have got a gigantic Cleona swatch party happening today. And oh, everything here just looks so beautiful. So we have the new Light Scatters collection, which is the Cleona and Bad to the Brow collaboration. It's a multi-chromatic palette. It looks so beautiful. I feel like this top shade right here is definitely stealing the show, but I cannot wait to dig my fingers in here. And I'm just so happy about this collaboration because Millie is literally the queen of multi-chromes. I have seen her just do so many amazing reviews and swatches, and she just has such quality content that I have been waiting for her to have you know, this opportunity to put her own twist on things and I feel like a multi-chrome palette, it just makes sense from her. So I'm so, so excited about that. In that collection, we also have a brush set and ooh, these brushes look so good. They're all super detailed, tiny little brushes. So I will definitely be getting some use out of these. The collection also has a Shine On Shimmer Shadow Enhancer. This is really cool because it's supposed to be a shadow enhancer for shimmers, but not necessarily like super glittery, like thick foiled shadows. Those, the NYX Glitter Primer, something like that would be more beneficial, but this is for more lightweight shimmers to enhance them. And I did see Millie in her reveal video using this to make one of the shadows more of a liner. And it just seems like a really cool innovative product. I don't have anything quite like this and I'm super curious to test it out. Millie does have very oily lids, so I'm sure that this is oily lid friendly. I don't really have an issue with my regular shimmers lasting because I have pretty dry skin, but Maybe this will make them even prettier. We can actually do like a little swatch test on my hand in just a moment. And then there's also three different really beautiful, ooh, almost dropped it, three really beautiful nail polishes. I believe these shades match some of the eyeshadows in the palette. That is the Light Scatters collection. Obviously I have a bunch more happening from Cleona here and that's because I was already like, oh, I really wanna do a swatch party of this, but I've been meaning to do a Cleona swatch party. So I was like, let's just put everything together. So I've got the Oceano palette, the Archeo palette, the Paleo palette, and I really wanna swatch all of these for you because they look beautiful and they just, I mean, look at Oceano, like absolutely stunning. And there's Archeo and Paleo. I also have some newer released single shadows from Cleona and some of their fruit lighters, which I have not swatched for y'all yet. So as you can see, we have a lot to play with today and I was hoping that this might be a little extra helpful for you if you're deciding whether to place a Black Friday order with Cleona because they are going to have a sale. All three of these palettes along with all the fruit lighters and I believe the Deep Sea Treasures palette are going to be 20% off and my affiliate code actually does stack on anything that's on sale. So I believe it takes an extra 6% off site-wide if you use the code Amy Loves. The Light Scatters palette new collection is going to be excluded. The nine newest stained glass shadows are going to be excluded, but all of the other stained glass shadows are gonna be 15% off which again is stackable and then they'll also have a bunch of sales on their accessories, their nail polishes. I believe the dragon fruit palette is gonna be 25% off. So lots of things on sale and I believe their sale starts on November 29th at the same time as the light scatters launch. So I will make sure to have all the details listed down below. So let's go ahead and start swatching. So taking a little bit of a closer look at the light scatters palette, it's just so pretty. We will definitely be using my mirror for this one. First shade in the palette looks like this really beautiful, like almost icy white in the pant. But swatching it out, I can definitely see some reflex of like a pink and a gold. I think it's going to be more obvious, like blended in. Next we have this like insane yellow to pink shade. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful, so unique. I genuinely do not have another shadow like that. That's probably the shade that I am the most excited to get on my eyes. The texture does feel a little bit thin, but you can see it's still very, very shiny and just looks gorgeous. 
Next we've got this like really pretty, it looks like a like reddish bronze to y'all. To me, it's more of like a grand, a grand. I meant to say a green antique, a grand, it's a grand. Ooh, I mean, look at that. You can see the green base, the rusty orange, the gold. That's super pretty. I literally can't get over that shade. I feel like it is looking a little bit more sheer on my hand like that, but you can still see the pink. I'm gonna build it up a little bit and show you more. Oop, somebody's delivering something. Yeah, like I said, so I do feel like these are a little bit thinner than some of the other formulas I have from Cleona, but you can see they swatch so beautifully. I feel like they're just gonna look amazing on the eyes. All right, just building that up a little bit so you can see. And then in the mirror, you can definitely see those shifts even better. Next, we have this beautiful, like, cool, oh my gosh, okay, I don't even know how to describe it. That's even prettier than I expected. It has this, like, gray-blue base and this beautiful, like, kind of lilac-y purple and gold. That's really, really pretty. That is very me. We've got a purple to teal kind of shade right here in the middle. Very, very smooth. And I would say it even goes almost to like a grass green to a teal to a purple, which I appreciate because I feel like I have several multi-chromes like this, but none that go quite so primary green. So I also feel like it's kind of bringing something new to the table. Okay, we've got this beautiful purple blue teal kind of princessy type shade i don't know there's something about this kind of color that i'm always just like it feels magical Ooh, that's so pretty Ooh, okay i really like that middle row too i feel like that's giving me all the cool tone but like still very fun vibes and again i'm kind of just building these up so you can see the shift even more and because i'm having fun playing with these shadows there is with the extra reflection okay next we have this kind of green teal kind of shade okay it's also got a little bit of a indigo kind of base going on really pretty. We've got this like yellowy green, super vibrant shade. And then lastly, this looks like such a beautiful multi-chrome. It's got green and pink and purple, and it's almost just, it's like a, a grungy rainbow, I would say. Oh my goodness. That's so sparkly. Okay, you guys have to see the reflect of that because it is so green from my side. Again, just building up a little bit. Look how pretty. So there you have it. That is the entire Light Scatters palette, isn't it beautiful? It's exactly what I expected from Millie. Super fun, super shifty. And again, I feel like these shimmers are all a little bit more on the thin, kind of more lightweight side. I feel like they're definitely going to pair really well with the Shine On Shadow Enhancer that she made with this. Let's go ahead and test that out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Shine On Enhancer right here on this side. We just blend it in a little bit. I think I'm gonna grab this shade right here just because it looks so pretty. So here it is without the Shadow Enhancer. And here it is on top of the shadow enhancer. Okay, so I feel like it did make it a little bit more intense. I'm assuming it'll probably help with wear time, but also, I mean, it's beautiful regardless. 
Seriously, such a huge congrats to Bad to the Brow. So now let's go ahead and start swatching out these palettes here. Um, let me see. I'm like, who should we start off with? Because they are all so beautiful. Actually, you know what? Let's go in order. We'll go with Paleo first because Paleo was the OG <laughs> Cleona eyeshadow palette and she is stunning. I feel like this is definitely one of those perfect, like in between half cool, half warm, half neutral, half color kind of eyeshadow palettes. Everything in here looks so pretty. I'm probably gonna go through these a little faster than the Light Scatters palette just because we have a lot to get through, but she's a beauty. So first we have the shade Glacial, which looks like a really beautiful, soft kind of periwinkle oh, cat hair. <laughs> So pretty. We've got Arctic Waters, which is a very soft, kind of like satiny, teal type shade. Fossil, which I would say is a like kind of purple-based brown matte. And then Ice Core, which looks like a really beautiful, deeper kind of purple, blue, teal shifting tone. These are all super metallic. Definitely looking super shiny. Ooh, that is smooth. Which if you know from my original review of the Paleo palette when it came out years ago, I did not like the mattes. So, or wait, the, I don't think the Paleo had, a, I think it only had one matte. I think it was the Archeo that had more. But I was not a fan in the past. And that is so smooth, so buttery. Not a bad four shadows to start with. We've got Moraine, which looks like a really beautiful deep, deep navy. Again, so creamy. Trench. Just a really beautiful kind of smoky metallic blue. Tectonic. Just a true kind of mid-tone warm brown. And then Epoch, Epoch, Epoch. I'm not sure that I'm saying that correctly. Just looks like a really nice soft, pale gold. Okay, so smooth. Cannot wait to play with those mattes on my eyes. We've got Magna, it looks like a warm, kind of light orangey brown, heavy on the orange. Archaea, which this is definitely a multi-chrome, super metallic. We've got a green, to kind of rose gold, purpley shift happening. Pangea, which is literally the most beautiful, like mustard, yellowy green, just gimme gimme. <laughs> and then lastly, we have the shade Crater, which looks like a rose gold. I mean, what more can I say? These look so, so good. Okay, shifty. Wow. Okay, Cleona. I see you. See you doing the damn thing. So there you have it. That is the full Paleo palette. Okay, next, let's jump into the Archeo palette. Again, we've got kind of a fun mixture of some cool and warm tones and an even amount of mattes and shimmers. This color story really speaks to me. We've got Monolith, which ooh. These mattes literally feel like butter. Such a pretty, rosy, dusty mauve. Dead Sea, just like the most beautiful cobalt blue, which that one, I have a feeling, yeah, look. Hopefully you can see that, it's a little a little dusty. <laughs> Definitely be careful picking that up with your brush. We've got Erosion. It's like beautiful kind of rusty orange matte. I'm like shaking out my fingers and <laughs> there's just a lot, a lot coming off. So yeah, I, I would definitely be really, really careful with these because they are super pigmented, pigmented, but we've got Nomad, which looks like a really beautiful bright yellow. Not my best swatch, but that's okay. <laughs> I 
Next we've got Fragment, which looks like a really beautiful, soft, kind of like rosy brown. Lichen? Lichen? Probably lichen. We're not lichen. <laughs> which is kind of like a mix of a gray and a green. We've got Glyph, which this looks like it's going to be magical. It's such a beautiful purple to pink to gold, multi-chrome sundial so it's just like the most stunning kind of yellowy gold Ooh, that's so pretty we've got neo which looks like a periwinkle satin shade periwinkle to blue sulfur just a really vibrant light yellow Kind of has a little bit of a green shift. Terrain, which looks like a beautiful soft green with a kind of pinky shift. And arc, 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 <laughs> I'm like saying architect and artifact at the same time. It's artifact, which is a copper shimmer. I'm so undecided right now. I don't know what my favorite is. I'm like, everything is just so beautiful so there you have it the Archeo palette in all its glory and then here's it zoomed out a little bit so you can see everything all together definitely a very bright fun palette okay now we have Oceano again a very colorful palette lots of blue in here but this first shade is just calling to me so much so that is mana low it looks like it has the coolest volcano imprint and it's such a pretty like peachy orange with a super strong gold flip we've got bioluminescent okay which is a little bit more of a soft like powdery purpley blue undertow which is a nice matte blue we've got title is a satin kind of cobalt blue Ooh, oh my gosh that is definitely my favorite shade i'm not even into peaches that much but that one is just calling to me we've got plankton which is a soft kind of muted green with a pinky purple flip that's super, super pretty. Again, a really unique shade. Manta Ray, which looks like such a cute teal matte. Archipelago, which I'm probably messing up, but look how beautiful that grungy green is. I mean, these three shades together would be such a vibe. We've got Seagrass which kind of has more of a teal base and then like a soft greeny gold reflection. I swear everything I'm swatching, I'm like, wait, I think this is actually my favorite. Like, look at that combo right there. Those look so good together. Next, we've got Lagoon, which looks like a really beautiful kind of cloud blue. I think that's the word for it. If it's not, I apologize. We've got Starfish, which is a pretty bright coral. Urchin, which is another like super special sparkly shade. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's got like this kind of a like, grungy, murky green base and then a really beautiful gold and purple flip. Maybe some blue too. Really cool. And then... Ooh, definitely getting some fallout from the shade Starfish. But lastly, we've got Ocean Glass, which is a really pretty kind of icy blue with maybe a little bit of purple. Okay. And that is the entire Oceano palette. Love, love, love. <laughs> I'd be so curious to hear which one of these palettes is your favorite because they're all so cute. Definitely more for the color lovers, I think, overall, but really, really like it. So let's go ahead and move on to the single shadows. 
Okay, look how beautiful these new single shadows are. And the packaging all has the like golden back, which is so pretty. So starting off with Facet, this just looks like a really beautiful white, very icy iridescent shade with a little bit of a pinky golden reflect. That one is described as a series three iridescent multi-chrome. Very, very beautiful shift. We've got Solarium, which looks like a stunning soft yellow with a bluey green flip. Very intense. Ooh, that's gorgeous. And that shade is described as an electric multichrome. We've got Synthesis, which looks like such a fun, like teal to bronze. Kind of shade i feel like it doesn't even look green for y'all at all so i can't wait to show you what it looks like in the mirror it's so pretty that one is a dimensional light multi-chrome look at that green y'all i was not kidding it's intense next we have the shade scroll which looks like a really soft peach with maybe a soft blue reflect, a little more subtle. And that one is another, oh wait, I take it back. That is not subtle at all. Wow, that's so pretty. And again, that is considered an electric multichrome. That last one kind of snuck up on me. Next we've got Entropy, which this looks like a really beautiful, like pinky purple with so much gold. Definitely another really intense one. And it is a dimensional light multi-chrome. It also has some pretty strong orange going on. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. We've got Baroness. It's a really beautiful bright pink with a gold and a blue shift. And it says this is a glitter vibrant multi-chrome, which is one of my favorite of their lines. Like this is just my kind of shadow and this one's definitely giving Barbie. I'm always about the sparkles. So definitely not mad at that one. In person, it has such a strong peach reflect. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not even focusing. Look how pretty Rex is. Another glitter vibrant multi-chrome. Wow, the blue, the green, the gold, the pink. So pretty. Goodness gracious. I feel like that's one of those shadows where you're just like, um, yeah, I would like that slathered, slathered all over my entire body. Thank you very much. We've got Amalgam, which is a dimensional light multi-chrome, and this one is kind of just like a soft blue purple. It's not sitting out to me a ton, just on first swatch, but let's see. It also has like kind of like a little bit of a rosiness to it, but I do feel like I have several shades like that over and over again. It's very shiny, nothing wrong with it, but I feel like if I'm recommending shades, you know, I always want to mention what I find to be the most unique. And then of course you can see the purple shift a little bit better there. Okay, last but not least we have Liquidus which is a very, very bright purple. This is described as a dimensional multi-chrome. Do you say multi-chrome or multi-chrome? I feel like I go back and forth. Okay. So I feel like you guys are seeing mostly like a very true purple, but then from the side, it has like this grungy green, orange, and like some like gold speckles to it. So there are all of the new stained glass shadows.
Okay, so moving on to the fruit lighters. I'm literally obsessed with the packaging of these. They're so cute. I think I'm gonna do these on my hand because my arm is getting super sensitive. I swatched way too much on it today. My skin is just not built like that, but I really wanted to go ahead and try these out really quick for y'all. So we've got the shade Juicy, which looks like the cutest orange inspired fruit lighter. So it's kind of just like a soft, kind of golden orange shade. I really love using these for my eyes. It really just depends on your skin tone. There's gonna be a little something for everyone. And I do have other swatches of these or like other ones in their collection. I think I have like four or five more. I can link that swatch party for you down below in case you're curious, but it's just a really nice gold. And then we've got this shade here called Crisp, which I hope you can tell is literally the cutest apple inspired. Ooh, come on. <laughs> shade, I mean, come on. It looks like such a pretty like rose gold tone. I feel like I would use this as kind of like a blush topper. She is stunning. And then we've got the shade Bitter. Huh. Is this supposed to be a grapefruit, maybe? Maybe. I'm like trying to decide. <laughs> okay, it looks like another kind of like pinky gold, but obviously a little bit less rose gold than the previous shade. Sorry, y'all, my phone just started going off. Look how pretty. Actually, I feel like I would really like that one as a blush topper too. Super, super metallic and just shiny and smooth. Alrighty, y'all. I feel like I am in makeup heaven right now, but I really hope you enjoyed this swatch party. Don't forget to check out the new Light Scatters palette launching November 29th and definitely check out Millie's video. I'll have hers linked down below. Send her some love. Super, 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 I don't know why I said it like that. Super exciting. <laughs> so pretty, so fun. I really hope that y'all enjoyed and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.